you guys? It's your girl Minnie, and I am back at it with another flipping video. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video because you don't want to miss out on any of the vibes that I have going on over here. And today, I am reviewing the Good Apple by Kat Von D Foundation. I know I'm late to the party, but she done came out with the concealer too, the Good Apple Concealer, and we're gonna try this out. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. This went viral like a year ago and I had bought this a couple months ago. I want to say like five months ago. And I never pulled it out the drawer because I thought I was going to use it. I wanted to do a video on it and never did. But then I seen another YouTuber. Which she, she is so cute. When I watched her, she said that they came out with a concealer. A Good Apple Concealer. So I was like, let me just do this video and get it out the way. This foundation retails for $40. And I got the shade Tan 074. It says it's a lightweight coverage and a little goes a long way. It gives you a natural skin looking finish. And it's supposed to cover up everything from blemishes to tattoos. So I don't know how it's going to do going to give you a natural skin looking finish and cover up all your blemishes and stuff and be lightweight so it's saying that it's not kicking it feels like you're not even wearing makeup at all it's a vegan foundation infused with apple extract let me pull this out and see what it's hitting for because it's giving a lot a lot of good detailing so this is what the packaging looks like this is yeah i like the detail around here i feel like beauty and the beast if she had makeup in her room, this would be like the type of vibes that it had in there. <laughs> it don't smell like anything. I was expecting it to smell like apple -y, but anyway. <laughs> then you have the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer, and this retails for $28. It's saying the same thing. Let's see, let's see. And I got Tan 162. This is what it's looking like. It's looking like a pill dropper. <laughs> All right, so how am I gonna put this on? I'm gonna put on my e.l.f. Jelly Pop. All right, so dipping into it. She said a little goes a long way. I don't even feel like there's any on my face. a little goes a long way but I feel like I'm putting so much on I kind of actually like that um it covers black blemishes and stuff like that and I'm seeing all I see a blemish right here so I don't know if it's really giving full coverage like it's say but it does feel lightweight it doesn't feel like you have foundation on after putting the contour on I'm really loving this foundation it just looks so good like nah this foundation went viral for a reason okay let's get into the concealer i'm really liking how it doesn't feel like i have on foundation i'm really liking this i just wish it wasn't in this thing i don't like the sanitation of it i just don't like dipping back into the thing i just want to pump it out and don't worry about the inside of my bottle creating bacterial type of vibes in there i don't i don't want that on my face <laughs> not to say i'm dirty or nothing but you just never know like what can grow inside of a unsanitized product and i try to be as clean as possible with my product and brushes i don't know if that would i'm gonna be thinking about it all the time i'm gonna be thinking about it i just know how i am i'm gonna be thinking about it all the time anyway concealer all right so this is the spoolie right here it looks like it gets into the crevices so let's get in there get in there Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm liking this already. I'm liking how my face looks. This let me fix this over here. Yes, I'm really liking how golden my face looks. It looks like skin like it really does. Your girl wasn't lying about that one. Yeah, yeah, she did that, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. All you gotta do is say yes. 
Don't deny what you feel, let me undress you, babe Open up your mind, just rest I'm about to let you know You make me so, 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 so I'm gonna get back to that Let's get into the eye Ooh, I like that. I don't know, Tart. <laughs> yeah, they hate, but they broke, though. I must say, I gotta say that 10 out of 10, that's what it's given. Set my face. So overall, how I feel about the foundation and the concealer, I really love them. I didn't think they were going to give me what it's giving me. It's giving me life. It's giving me golden. It's giving me lightweight, like it said. It's very lightweight. It's no one the people was going crazy about it. These are really two good products. Like, I like how I'm feeling golden. I like how I look. Yeah, this is it. This is cute or not. <laughs> But this is really cute. I'm really loving this. I think this is going to be my go-to. Like one of my favorite foundations to use. Only thing like I said. I don't like dipping back into it for sanitary reasons. Only because my skin is oily. And it has like blackheads. And my skin is flaky sometimes. Like my skin is very. It's kind of bad to me. My skin is kind of bad to me. So I just don't want to. I don't feel comfortable dipping back into the product. But this product is really a1 i give these two products a 10 out of 10 i'm definitely like if i run out i'm definitely gonna have to buy another one because these are it and if you're late to the party like me go get you one i recommend this is 40 dollars. this is 28 dollars, and you're good to go like add this to your makeup collection I'm, I'm really loving this and if you like this video please comment down below your thoughts on this foundation and if you're feeling like how i'm feeling let me know down below until next time peace I would like to get